Hello everyone, this is Richard, and I am back with episode 7 of my Project Zomboid Let's Play. So, let's go into survival, and we're gonna play this world. And uh, basically, I had experience with this, and I played actually at a separate world in um, Sandbox, um, and I noticed that um, the bodies only take like one to two days to decompose now, and the blood, which is kind of cool. So basically, the um, on one end, it's kind of nice because all the corpses go away, and it leaves it kind of more a cleaner look. But at the same time, it's actually somewhat annoying because if you don't loot the zombies like instantly or within one to two days, you lose all the stuff they could have had on them. So it is 8.40, and I don't know exactly what I have planned for this episode today. So also, because of that, I don't think it's quite as important to drag the corpses over since they're just going to all disappear soon anyway. But I don't know exactly what I have planned for today. But I want to go maybe back to that area and see if we can clear out some more zombies on the way to that warehouse. I don't think we'll make it to the warehouse today, but maybe we can loot a few more houses and clear a few more zombies out. So this is a long path, I remember. And then it heads over here. See, that's kind of the annoying thing also about the zombies now rotting, is that I kind of used to use them as landmarks to know where I'd been before, and um, now it's kind of going to be an issue because you can no longer use them. And I am kind of rusty on this. Because that was a pretty bad hit to him. I was completely off. So I probably should not be sprinting on the pavement. I always try and remember that, and I never do it. So I'm going to try, if I sprint then I guess it's better to sprint on the grass. And I know I need to keep zoomed in more. And I only, always am trying to figure out what that star means. I should look it up because I still have never figured out what that meant. I think it's the condition? Oh, because yeah, this baseball bat is in terrible condition. I didn't realize how damaged that was. And we probably need a lot of... Oh, we do have two wood glue. Okay. Well, we repaired it somewhat, but... We'll need more wood glue soon. So I'm pretty sure there's a, um, over there that there's a, um, garage, but I think we've already looted it. And maybe I'm thinking what we might want to do is, um, just stay the night on the route to it. On the route to the warehouse. Like, stay the night in some place, rather than returning to base each time. Because I don't know, maybe that makes them respawn less. And it means we also won't have to obviously keep on going as far. I think there's some more sheds over in this area. Which it would be handy because we could get some tools and stuff. Okay, that zombie just does not want to die. Nope, nothing good on him. I really wish I had another weapon because that's worrying because I know I'm going to probably break this one soon. I'm pretty sure that I have a spare baseball bat at the house. So maybe I should go get that. I was trying to get hit both of them at once, but... Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Always check. Just got to hope that one time that they have an axe. But nope, they don't. And I don't know how fast they respawn. So I don't know exactly if this is even going to be any help in the future. But again, it always helps our chances of getting an axe, so... Wow, he flew back. I always think that tree noise, yeah it is, it's the when they come out of the trees. So that noise must have been when she walked into the trees there. I'm trying to get back on a regular schedule uploading wise on YouTube. Let's go see if this... I think there was like supposed to be some sheds in this, near this area. Hope I'm not wearing this out. I'm trying to get back on a regular um, YouTube upload schedule though. And I think this is the first week in a while that I've actually uploaded the proper series every day that I had planned. So that's kind of nice. I noticed we already nearly broken the baseball bat, 
So I think we need to go back to home at this point. I don't see us having any other choice because I think I need a new fresh baseball bat. Because if we just kill a few more zombies with this thing, it's going to break. I wonder if they do less damage as you use them more. I don't know. Because we've repaired it now twice. And we don't have the wood glue to repair it again. We only have one wood glue there and none here. Oh yeah, there's not much remaining, okay. There's like a very little bit. I didn't know you could actually see that in there. So I think the only other thing we need for gardening is a trowel. Let me see if there's, um, real quick, I'm just, I want to get a trowel. Because I want to finally start being able to grow stuff. Ooh, that drew a, a group. Gosh, die already, dude. Wow. Okay. You're the only one left. We just need you to go down. Probably gonna break my baseball bat in the process of fighting these people. But I was curious. I thought there was a shed nearby here. Uh, probably not actually though. Yeah, there's just a field of zombies. I don't particularly want to go that far. Oh, I see him. Oh, wow. I drew a bunch. Oh, crap. That was bad. That was bad. I don't know why I had my back to him. Slight damage. It doesn't look like I was bit. But it does say agony or minor pain. Okay. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna have a trowel in that house. I need to find a shed. Maybe if I just cut through here. I know I need to stop zooming out because it's harder for people to see, but... I just, I need to get a better perspective to make sure I'm not getting, like, having people come up and sneak up on me. And um, one of the things I read, actually, on the Mondoid update this week, it looked pretty cool. They're actually working on um, getting new ambient and, like, all sorts of new noises for the game, which is pretty cool. They're going to have, like, um, the, like, ambient water noises. So, like, from, like, gurgling rivers and stuff, as in, like, streams. And they're also going to add um, ones for when animals are trapped. Obviously we, haven't, obviously, we haven't managed to get to that yet, though, but that would be pretty cool once we get to, like, trapping. I know they also implemented fishing and trapping in the last update, but I think you I don't know exactly how I would get those new items, whether I craft them or not. I'd have to check the wiki. But yeah, those will be pretty cool things to explore eventually. I guess I should just probably I should just go loot some more houses this episode because it's already so late that I don't think we're going to be able to um get a new baseball bat and head all the way back there. Well, he's getting exerted from high exertion from running so long. Yeah, look at that that running, that sprinting. It's not that effective. It kind of looks comical that he's raising his legs so high and going so... And ha having such short strides. Just doesn't look right. So, I'm pretty sure I have a baseball bat somewhere around here. I think there's one in the house. Or in here, maybe. Or maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have a spare baseball bat. That could be a problem. We have, like, no more melee weapon. Oh, okay, good, we did. I thought we had a spare bat one. So we need to try and find some more wood glue, I guess, soon. And let me just see... Yeah, now you can see the condition of them each easily, and I'll just say equip in both hands. And see, look at that fresh, complete star there. I guess while we're here, I'll just have him eat something. Eat all of that banana. 
Good, yeah. So now it says fed. Wow. That was dumb. I closed the door right on him as I opened it. So, the houses in that direction are so far. I might just go and loot the ones in this direction. Eventually, once I get um, enough stuff for gardening, enough stuff for carpentry, I want to get specifically an axe and a saw. I would like to um, attempt to go that farm, I think, because I think I want to really live there and make that the permanent base. Although it would be really cool to make, like, a path from the farm to our um, cabin. I don't know, just for the challenge aspect. Wow, this is quite a big house. This could have some zombies in it. I don't like looting big houses because it's too easy for them to have zombies in them when you get ambushed. Wow, that was an odd death. Is he dead? Okay, I guess he's not. Oh, always take that. Because I think we're going to need a pistol and a lot of rounds when we do that assault on um, the warehouse. Kitchen knife. Okay, let's hope there's no alarm, because this house looks like the type that could have one. But I think it's completely random. Oh, great. Must have seen me through the window. <sighs> wow, there's a lot in there. Yeah, never mind. I don't think we'll loot that house. Simply because I don't want to break the glass, because it'll draw too many more. Wow, she took like four hits. And this is a fresh one. Okay, so beta blockers reduce panic. I was wondering. I guess we'll put that in our medicine cabinet. But I don't think they reduce stress. I think stress and panic in the game are two different things, which is kind of odd, but... I guess in real life they're two different things. Because stress is more long-term and panic is more immediate. And I think it's kind of similar in this. So I'm just gonna go and see if there's anything for us to loot beyond here. Oh wow, this leads right back up there. I didn't realize that. And I think we already looted here because the door's open. I didn't realize these connected so closely. So did we actually loot here or did we just go inside of here? Oh yeah, I think we looted this. Hmm. Frying pans aren't that great, but I guess it might be a good idea to get one. Yeah, we definitely looted this. I remember this. I see a frying pan there. And I guess we should go pick that up. Even though it's not that great, but if our baseball bats break, it's nice to have a, a something else. Now, where was it, though? I saw it was in these cabinets, right? Yeah, we'll just put it in there so it has weight reduction on it. So, uh, wow, this was quite a short episode. We didn't seem to actually get that much done. Well, see if I can just loot one more house. I know I might be pushing it, though, because it's already, um, 5.50. Oh, gosh, that's a horde. At least we have a fresh baseball bat. I feel more confident. And this house looks empty thus far. Well, that startled me for a second. I actually clicked the E key and closed it. I hope that did. Oh, that did. Let me try and zoom back in. Ah, uh, come on. Just have an axe, one of you, please. I need it. The game just hates me. And close that. Concrete powder. Well, we'll grab more nails, for sure. Ok, 
can open or cool. Grab the cabbage seeds, even though I swear we have so many seeds already. We were quite far from our house, though. So. Oh, definitely grab the chips, because we always need more dry food. And is that something we can loot? I guess I'll grab the cooking pot so we can have some water, just in case the water goes out soon. And we'll check this, and then we gotta leave, I think. But there could be some rounds or something handy in here. The frick, I can't reach it because of the stupid bed. Oh, spare baseball bat, always take that. Because I think we can actually upgrade it now, one with nails. That is really annoying. Why did they do that? So you cannot reach it because of the bed. So let's have to run back to the cabin real quick. And draw a huge trail of zombies. I'm curious to see if the zombie um, bodies will despawn by now, though, actually. Okay, good. I'm I want to make sure he doesn't get too drowsy and it says in danger of passing out. Although I have in another game, I've reached that state plenty of times and I never actually passed out. So I don't think it's really that. Ra I don't think it's. I think it's pretty rare that you actually pass out. Maybe if you had like the bad luck trait or the unlucky trait or whatever, it would be passed out. I don't know. I guess that's not a trait actually. I'm I'm thinking of The Sims 3 where they're called traits. I can't remember what they're calling this actually. Oh, they are all car all ca they are called traits. Well, I could not say that. Blunt. Oh yeah, we'll definitely level that up. We've killed 91 zombies. That's pretty impressive considering we haven't been going out of our way to really kill them. Yeah, so they're called traits just like The Sims 3. I wonder if that's where they got the idea. Cuz many people have kind of coined the term that this is like The Sims 3 in um in, um, with the zombie apocalypse, so, which is kind of interesting that I'm playing this then, and also playing The Sims 3 on my channel, that was not intentional at all, because I think I started, I can't remember, I think I started playing this before I played, started playing The Sims 3, so, I don't know exactly how long I've been recording, but then that probably means this has been a full episode, so I guess unfortunately I'm going to have to stop it here, even though it seems like we didn't get much done. Maybe I'll try and upload another episode soon. I think there's someone banging at my door. Or is that the music? Oh, that was the music. And the zombie corpses have still not gone away. Have the ones in the pile gone away? Oh, no, the ones in the pile are still there. I think it's only like two days, though. So they'll probably be gone pretty soon. Which I guess I should real quickly check them. Yeah, that is the music. I hear like a thud in the music. If you listen carefully, you can hear it. And I must have thought that was like someone beating on the door. Yeah, nope, none of them have anything good. I thought I looted them as I killed them, so they shouldn't have had anything good. So yeah, it's about 5.30. I guess we will um, resume this next time. So thanks everyone for watching. This concludes Episode 7 of Project Zomboid. Richard out.